everyone. Thanks for joining Strength today. My name is Kendall, Kendall Palm. Welcome in, welcome in. We are using heavier dumbbells. I have 15s and 20s. Grab what works for you, but we'll go down the list of exercises. We're gonna do that two times, two times. We have eight exercises total. Let's warm up your body. Get your body moving. You're gonna rise up to the balls of the feet. Circle the arms out and around. So a little calf raise and circle. Warming up through the shoulders. Activating your calves. All balance. One more this direction. Reverse the arms going forward. Swimming forward. Good. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. At home, take your right foot, step it back into your lunge, draw that heel down. Take your uh, right arm, you're gonna reach up and over. So getting to that whole fascia line. Return it back center, let's do the same thing other side. Step it back, draw the heel down, reach up and over. And return. Keep it going at your own pace. Nice fluid motions here. Hips stay stable, you're tilting up and over. Kinda try to give you different angles here. Let's do one more each side. Last one. Good, let's go into some body weight squats. Wide stance, feet slightly turned out. Let's squat it down and up. Down and up. Opening up through the hips. Getting you mobile through the knees, the ankles. Squeezing your glutes at the top. Four more. Three, then we're gonna hold it down and pulse. One more full, drop it down and pulse. And down, and down. Neutral spine, abs are drawn in. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Lengthen the legs, feet hip distance. You're gonna scissor the arms. So palms facing one another, going a little bit past the shoulders. Kind of pushing the range of motion a little bit. So each exercise is one minute total. Sometimes we have a tw about a 15 second break in between. Sometimes we don't, we'll go from there. All right, gang, our first exercise. I'm gonna grab my 15s here. We have a forward, together, side, together, reverse lunge, okay? Here we go, I know. Forward, together, side, together, reverse. We're sticking to one side only, one side only. We do get about a 15 to 20 second break in between sides. Now if that forward lunge is twingy on the knee, just stick to the side and the reverse lunge. But thinking about different planes of motion here, 20 seconds. Almost there. Last 10. Finish out one more to the back. Good. Take a little break, we have 20 seconds. We're gonna do the same thing other side. Sometimes we get the break, sometimes we don't. Depends on what we're doing back to back. We have five seconds, pick up your dumbbells again. Other side for the lunges. Go ahead and begin. So forward, to the side. Reverse. Whew. 
also sneaky cardio. Don't let it fool ya. We're more than halfway there. Shoulders and hips stay square. Come on, come on. Okay, 10 seconds and I'm gonna show you the next exercise. And both exercises are gonna be back to back. All on one side first. Three, two, and rest. Now, I'm using one 15 pound dumbbell at home, you're balanced on your left leg. You're gonna pass the weight, rack it up to the shoulder. Pass the weight, rack it up. Then we go directly into a single arm row. You're gonna feel this in your glutes, okay? All right, time is on. Find your balance. So you're gonna reach it down to your left at home, pass the weight, little shoulder rack. Down to the side, shoulder rack. Whew harder than it seems. Another option, toe tap. But we are using your deep transverse abdominals to maintain stability through your spine, obliques. Ugh. And by all means, if you need to go a little bit higher or lighter with weight, you do it. 15 seconds. Now, coming up next, in about five seconds, the leg that's lifted, you're gonna step it back, and you're gonna go into single arm rows. Okay, step it back, same arm as leg, pull and lengthen. One minute total. Head stays in line with your spine. Weight shifted forward over that front leg. You're still gonna feel this in that glute need of your standing leg. I don't know about you, but it's burning on my side. That elbow rose into the side of your rib cage. We get 20 seconds in between this, and then we do the same thing other side. 20 seconds left. Ooh, my balance today. It's a little off. Home stretch. Give me four, three, two, and one, and rest. So we do the other side. You're balanced on your right leg at home. In studio left. Okay. 10 seconds. Kind of roll through the shoulders. Start to find your balance. And that weight is in your right hand and studio left. Okay, here we go. So pass the weight rack and then off to the side. I thought this was gonna be my stronger side. Today, not so much. Use your breath. Now, I'm not looking at the camera because I'm trying to find a focal point forward so that my eye gaze is forward or slightly down. Twenty seconds. You're not doing this wrong if you start to feel this in your foot and your ankle and your calf muscles a ton of balance. Five seconds and we row. Three, two, and one. Step it back. Here we go. Row and lengthen. Up and down. So narrow row, neutral spine. You know the drill. Low through your legs. We have two exercises left. All right, gang, we're halfway there, halfway there. Keep it up. Eye gazes down to the floor. Keep the back of the neck long. Get out the way, get out the way, get out 
15, 15. Almost there. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Now, second to last exercise, two goblet pulses. One, two, reverse lunge, stand. Pulse, pulse, lunge, stand. Body weight or racking the weight up to the chest for a goblet. I'm using a 15. Wide stance, feet slightly turned out. Here we go. So pulse, pulse, lunge, together. Pulse, pulse, lunge, stand. Pulse, pulse, lunge, stand. So we're alternating. Legs. So racking that weight up to your chest adds a little bit more core work into it. Obviously more load to the legs, it's heavier. Okay, 20 seconds left. And then our last exercise, we come into a high plank. I'll show you. Oh, almost there, five. Three, two, one, release, 20 seconds. Last and final exercise. High plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, down, down, up, up. Try to alternate, left, right, right, left. Time starts in three, two, and one. You can do this, scale down to your knees like so. Same exact thing. Try to keep the hips as stable as you can. That's your goal. We are challenging endurance of your shoulders, endurance of your abs. Obliques, who on fire. All right, gang, you have 20 seconds, 20 seconds, keep it up. Then you get a 30 second break. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back, ho, ho, ho. You get 30 seconds off. We do this one more time, one more time. Grab some water. Ugh. 15 seconds. Start to grab your, grab your dumbbells. Forward, side, reverse lunge. Left foot starts forward at home. Here we go. So forward, together, side, Reverse. Huh. It's very deceiving for those plank exercises. Um, it gets the heart rate up pretty quick, especially when it's the last exercise of the round. More than halfway there. Fifteen seconds. I'm huffing and puffing too. Huh. Three, two, one, rest. Twenty seconds off, then we do the same thing other side. Huh. All right, let's go. Start to grab the weight again. Whew. This time at home. Right foot forward, I had to think about that. All right, here we go. So forward, side, and back. Forward, side, and back. 
Now I'm always telling you I am just here to guide. But if you need to take breaks, take them. Take them. It's okay. Twenty seconds. Our focus today is stabilizing through the abs. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. You're out. You're out. Okay. At home, you're balanced on the right leg first. Right leg. Up and down. Here we go in five, three, two, and one. Up and down, okay? Keep it up. Okay. Now this can be done with a five pound dumbbell as well. It can be done body weight, which means you're lifting up and then reaching out to the side, okay? Whatever you need to do. Woo! We go into our single arm row. No break coming up next. Huh. Doing good. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, step that leg back, hinge it forward, we row, and down, pull, and lengthen. These movements are also deceivingly challenging for cardio. And keep that weight shifted forward. Your elbow comes up a little bit past your rib cage as you pull. Break is coming up next for 20 seconds. You take it. 15. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One, you're out. Grab some water. Okay, we switch legs and home balance on your left leg. 10 seconds. All right. Here we go, we're in it. Rack it up and down to the side. All right, this side's taking a little bit more focus for me. I'm gonna quiet down a little bit. Huh. Halfway there. Balance takes a lot of concentration. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Step that foot, same foot back, hinge it forward, row. You got a 20 second break coming up next. Putting this workout together, I didn't think it would be this challenging, but man, <laughs> it is. All depends on how much weight you're using. 30 seconds left. OK, 
Keep the wrists long and strong, long and strong. 15. Last five. Three, two, one, you're out. Okay, good news. Two exercises left. Two goblet pulses, lunge, stand. Two minutes of work left, that's it. Grab the weight or go body weight. Rack it up to the shoulders. Wide stance. Feet are parallel this time. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, lunge, stand. Pulse, pulse, lunge, stand. Now this is the, we're kind of at that point in the workout where you start to lose momentum. You're getting tired. Think of it this way. A minute and a half left of work, that's it. It's not a whole lot of time. And even if you need to set the weight down to keep moving, that's okay. Whew, 15. Ah. Crunt it out if you need to. Three, two, and one, done. Okay, this is it. Shoulder tap, plank walk. That's it, 10 seconds. You can do this angled up as well. Okay, that's an option. We go in three, two, one, one minute. This is it, let's go. Two shoulder taps. Plank walk down, down, up, up. If you need to omit one of the two movements, you do that. If you need to do a plank hold, you do that. You got this, you're almost there. Almost there. 15. Five. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Sink it back to a child's pose. Uh, dead. Slowly roll it back up. Awesome job, everyone. Bring your head above the heart, one foot forward. Nice deep lunge, opening up through the hips. Ugh, that was tough. Send your front leg straight. Square out your hips, hinge it forward. Lengthening through the back of the legs. So again, friendly reminder for tomorrow, step aerobics with Kelsey. This is in studio only, it will not be recorded. There's only five spots remaining. So grab your, grab your spot, it's gonna be really fun. Same thing on the other side. We did it two weeks ago. And it's very, it's, I always say deceiving because that's the best way that I can explain things. But it's deceiving for your brain and the mind-body connection and putting together the movements. And then send your front leg straight, square out your hips, hinge it forward. Per usual, this is a really fast cool down. Take more time to stretch. Go ahead and release. Slowly bring yourself back up to your feet. Let's cross one arm over. Draw that shoulder away from the ear. Hold it here. So you should feel this back of the shoulder through the deltoids. Hold this position, tuck your chin in toward your chest.
Go ahead and release. Let's do the other side. Shoulder away from the ear. Tuck the chin in toward your chest. Hold it there. And go ahead and release. That is it, everyone. Thank you so much for joining class. We'll see you on Wednesday for a recorded and virtual class. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get outside. It's beautiful out. The sun is shining. Yes. Awesome job today. We will see you later.